Hello and welcome gamers to Halo Glands. I'm OG no Scopes and today's Forge video will cover various tower styles to incorporate into your bases. It is important to remember that most parts can be substituted for a better curve appeal or just to save on the number of parts. So what you want to start off with is a good base to the tower. You can either use a 1x4 block, 4 separate catwalks, or skip the tower's bottom part until the majority of the base is done and just set it on top. I like to use the catwalks for a better look than the simple 1x4 block. Next you will need two medium sized bridges, which you will need to center and then alternate their directions as to add protection to the player. After that spawn two more bridges upside down and center then raise them above the previous platform just enough to allow a player to see clearly through, but not enough to allow a forge monitor through. The reason for this is to avoid any enemy players getting into the tower. Next you may use columns to seal up the corners, or the trim from MCC should work fine, if it is to carry into Halo 5 like every forge object is supposed to do, you may also leave them alone, if you are really strapped for forge objects, however, it will supply a small weak spot for anyone using the tower. Now it's time to add some aesthetics, spawn 4, 2x1 banks small point up and place them matching the corners atop the tower. Then spawn 4, 1 by 1 banks and center them atop the tower. This may be easy to do by hand, or with duplicating, and magnets then editing the coordinates. Next you may add some windows around three of the sides, this way you can allow your player to view his surroundings without needing to worry that someone is going to shoot him from behind. The last part is to add a way in. Via teleporter I suggest two way teleporters because otherwise once in the tower you will be stuck. For the next tower you want to start with two of the bridge walls and stand them on end with the doors facing the ground and have them run parallel to each other at a distance. Next spawn two more bridge walls facing the opposite direction and overlap the doors with the already existing bridge walls. Then spawn a large brace to drape over half the tower you want on the interior of the base. After that spawn a small bunker to place at the top of the tower, at which point you will then spawn a second small bunker, and flip it upside down, and phase it into the other. The next thing you will want to do, is patch the hole in the front of the base with either a 1x5 block or a cat walk, and don't forget to make sure, that the wall is even all the way down on the inside of the tower. And then spawn a grav lift to take you from the bottom to the top of the tower. If you are having trouble landing in the sniper's nest, try adding 1x1 one one flat blocks to help arc your way in. The first thing you will want to do is spawn in two of the open covers and place them on end facing opposite directions so that it leaves a window for your snipers. Sadly, this window is just slightly too big, but luckily it can be easily patched aesthetically with a small antenna that has been turned upside down. This should provide a bar that makes the hole too small for a player to climb through as well as supply an overhang which a player can then attach a light to if they so desire. For the last step you can add either your sniper or a shotgun placed in the back of the tower just in case you want to clear the tower, as you will notice this tower has plenty of sniping angles for you to utilize. Let's get a generalized look at the tower, once walls have been added.
for the next tower you want to start with a 4x4 flat block set at the height that you want the floor of your tower. Next you will want to spawn 4 1x4 blocks to use as legs. Next spawn either 4 trim medium or 4 trim large to use as braces for the tower ceiling. After that build up some railings using the trim large trims should spread the gaps perfectly however, it will take a stack of 2 to build up a good railing. You will only want to do this on the sides, and switch over to small trim for the front, and use one and a half trims from both sides as to provide an opening for a turret. On the back side double up on one and a half small size trim to make a rail, but still allow an opening for an entrance by either a bridge or grab lift. Next it's time to work on the roof, spawn 4, 2x2 two two ramps and place them on each side facing one another. Many alterations to this tower may be applied such as the following.
The next tower provides a good coverage of sniping angles. What you want to start off with is a center pillar of six small circular ramps. From there spawn a dish and center it atop the spire and after that spawn another dish upside down and place it matching the direction of the other dish and space it just enough to where a forge monitor can't get through. Then spawn and two open dishes matching the dishes already in place. After that spawn an extra large bridge and place it in the top dishes opening. Then do the same thing with a large bridge on the bottom dish. Next angle an extra large bridge straight up and down off the upper bridge and duplicate the process facing the opposite direction for the lower bridge. After that close up the gaps along the bridges with some walls. Next center a small circular bridge atop the tower and spawn three more and center them 45 degrees from one another. Now to complete the steeple center four, two by one banks on top of the circular ramps. Next attach it to your base. Next add in the grab lift plus maybe a sniper and the tower should be complete. That is it for today's tutorial on ideas for sniper towers more tutorials on this and other forge topics soon to come when halo 5 forge comes out don't forget to fill out some of the forms in the description like clan of the day also don't forget to rate comment and no scope that subscribe button like a baller until next time this has been no genoscopes signing off